What's up, Internet? It's time for another Battle Box review. I got Mission 28 right here. The very highly anticipated mission. It is urban survival. So get ready because I'm fixing to crank into this box. I'm going to crank into it. Just like that right there. Urban survival, right there. So here is your sit rep card again. This month we went large, went very large with the sit rep card here. We've got the uh, basic, advanced, pro, and pro plus levels. Each item that's in each level and the MSRP value of each level. And then on the back it says civil unrest. So that would be a you know a scenario you know in the urban environment. So. Uh, you got this on the back that the uh, CEO, Daniel, he you know, does a lot of write-ups on the back of this with a lot of really good information about each of your products in the box. So be sure not to just toss this aside and take a good look at it. All right, first up is the basic box, okay? $25 cost box per month. And the first item is a Kershaw Shuffle folding knife. You got a knife in basic, y'all. And it's a good one, the Kershaw, Kershaw Shuffle. I'm going to take out my knife. Ooh, isn't that nice? And we're going to take a look at it if I don't slice my hand open. I've been cutting myself a lot lately. <laughs> Come on, baby. There you go, the Kershaw, Kershaw. I can't say Kershaw today. Kershaw! It's a Kershaw. It's the shuffle. The Kershaw shuffle. Very cool knife. Let me close it up for you so you can see. Nice, small, very compact, very good EDC, um, and go in a backpack or whatnot and uh, be nice and discreet. Got yourself a bottle opener there. Got a nice end there so you can uh, bash some civil unrest. <laughs> but a very nice knife and very sharp, very cool lines. I kind of like how it's got that kind of curve to the top there. I think it's very interesting. So that's the first item in the basic is the Kershaw Shuffle. Put that right there. The next item in the basic box is a four-way silcock wrench or, or key. Um, this is a very interesting product. A lot of people don't know about these. Um, I use this almost every single day for 24 years doing air conditioning work and chill, being a children mechanic. Um, in a lot of urban situations in places, you know, businesses and, and factories and just commercial buildings in general, instead of having a typical, you know, water spigot outside, they've got, you know, inlaid in the brick or whatever kind of building it is, is a little door that you open and there's the water spigot in there, but you need a special key to, to turn it on to get the water out. Obviously, they don't want everybody and their brother getting water from their building, right? So they have a key way that you need to do that. They come in all kind of different sizes and whatnot. So this key right here has four different sizes all the way around so you can unlock the door and open the, 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 um, the valve so that you can get water out. So this is a great thing to have in an urban survival situation because if you need water, you can't get it if it's locked up, right? So this is a good thing to have. It also comes in handy for, for other reasons. I've, I've been able to um, unscrew 5 16 screws and stuff with these as well because they'll, they'll fit in there if you get the angle just right. So a great tool to have in your, uh, your bag when you're in an urban situation. So the third item in the basic box is really cool. It's an EDC pocket tool. So EDC everyday carry pocket tool. It comes in its own little Kydex sheath here. It actually locks in very well, so you can use this as a, you know, as a keychain or add it to your keychain or hang it from your pack or whatever. But uh, really cool tool right here. You have a blade, screwdriver, a bottle opener. It's a little belt cutter. You can use that in addition, obviously, to the blade, you cut paracord or whatnot. And then it's got an oxygen wrench key right here. Um, also has another lanyard hole there if you want to tie off a lanyard, but very cool EDC tool, small, compact, very effective in an urban situation when you might need it. And it all packs in that really cool Kydex sheath right there. And 
I mean, I gotta pull it pretty hard to get it to come out, so. As you can see, I am in southern Georgia, and it's hot. My chest is sweating, <laughs> or my belly roll sweating, one of the two. <laughs> so next up is from Ready Man. It's a lock blocker access denial card. This is really cool. Uh, got a nice little Ready Man sleeve there for you to keep this and the other Ready Man cards you've gotten from us in. But this is a way that you can completely just ruin somebody's day getting their key in their lock, <laughs> basically. So this little card here has got two devices here. All right, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets of these two tools here. And I'm gonna break one off for you, break two of them off and show you. So I got them loose there. So this one here, this little piece here is the denial key. That's what we'll call it. I'm not sure exactly what they call it, but this is the one that you put into the, into the lock um, that just completely just denies anybody access with a key or really anything. So you put this inside, and what it does is it captures behind the pins with this angled top piece here, and it cannot be pulled out, and you can't put a key in it. So you can completely disable a lock, and then you got your extraction tool. So you use this tool to get this out. So very cool kit to have or to break in half and put some in, you know, in, in one pack and one in another and keep in wallets or whatever. And you always are prepared to deny somebody access. Yeehaw. I like doing that. Daniel tried doing that on my door to my office and uh, it, it denied both of us access pretty much. <laughs> I can attest, and of course Daniel can too, we, we tested it on my door and it worked. It did exactly what it was supposed to do, but it was kind of difficult to get out. So test it on some locks that you don't, you know, some old locks of yours or whatever to see which ones they work the best on. And, uh, but, but, you know, give it a shot. It's a new product. I can't say that I, I've tested it on a whole lot but other than a padlock in the door on my office, but it definitely denied us access for quite some time, but we did end up getting in there. So um, be sure to try it out and see what it works for, but try it out on a lock that you don't care about just in case you can't get that denial piece out. The next item on basic is a manual fuel or oil pump, or you can use it for water too. Um, it's a very cool item here. I'm gonna just dump it all out and kind of give you a brief, a briefing. And give you a briefing. Basically, it's, it's a hand siphon. It's a hand pump, basically all it is. So you got some long, large tubing here. You got some smaller, uh, shorter length tubing here, and a longer length of smaller diameter tubing here, along with a, quite a few accessories to be able to, you know, uh, put these bushings in to go down to the smaller sizes. And it's also got a valve right here that you can close. And basically. If you, you know, are having to scavenge for gas or oil for your lamps or oil for your vehicle or anything like that, transfer water, um, things such as that, you can do that this with this hand pump by using these accessories to pump and transfer from one to another. So very cool item to have here and I'm sure there's tons of other uses. I would think a cool use would be able to filter, like if you had a couple of these, you could be um, run this through a, a water filter, your exit, pull from that into another and somebody else can be doing another from a container into another and you can kind of double filter water or whatever. So a lot of really cool possible uses for this, but it is designed as a gas or oil pump. So that is the next to last item in basic. Tubular tubing. It's very tubular. It's like totally tubular, man. Next up is a folding shovel entrenching. <laughs> I said, I said entrenching. Entrenching, entrenching tool. Check it out. All of it fits right here in this pouch. It's got a belt loop if you want to put it on a belt loop or rig it up on a backpack or something like that. So it's a folding shovel. It's all, it also has the pick on there. So you put your handle in. You do your pick. You can do it this, you know, at a 90 degree or straight on. And then, of course, a shovel. And you tighten it up here without loosening the handle. 
tight in that bad boy up. And there you go, bottle opener. Everything's got a bottle opener. Is that like telling you something? You know, you, you, it's okay to have a drink even in an urban, you know, civil unrest situation. When you run across some cold drinks, you, you're good to go. But it's got yourself a little saw there. Shovel, bottle opener, pick. If you can't find your way, it's got one of them on the back. Very cool. It's nice and strong too, doesn't flex or nothing. Works pretty good. I don't know if I got off camera with that or not. Awesome. Everybody's got to have one of these. I know I've had several over the years to go to the Army Surplus store and, and get one, but none of them have folded down like this and fit into a little bitty pouch, so I think that's pretty cool. Don't you? Very nice. I wish there was like a giant bottle of water in this box, because it's hot. <laughs> it's sweating so bad out here. But then last item, of course, is the Ready Man Basic mem Membership Renewal that you get as a basic member. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. All right, now it's time for the advanced box. And I know some of you have been staring over here at this box and saying, hey man, is there a pack in there? Yeah, there's a pack in here. Check it out. <laughs> The Ready Man Gray Man Pack. So this is an awesome pack here um, for you know the urban environment. It's, it's gray. It's very um, you know it's not a real loud color or anything like that. It's not OD green or or FDE or anything like that. It doesn't have a lot of Molly gear and all that stuff on it. Which don't get me wrong, I love it. Matter of fact, every pack I have is very tactical and military looking. This is a really nice pack. That's very plain but don't let that deceive you. Obviously, as you can see here, it has uh, straps so you can put, you know, rain jacket, poncho, water bottle, whatever in there and strap it in, anything that you collect or whatnot that you can put in right there. Has really good zippers on it. Your first line stuff can go here in the side, which is a quick, easy way to get in. It's nice and large. And you can also access your pack from the sides here on both sides as you can see. But if you really need to take this pack off and you know get down to the nitty gritty real quick and get to your serious stuff on the inside, as you can see there's a handle here. You can just hold down here, grab your handle, it opens right up just like that. You can also grab this in and open that wide open. The pack completely opens up. Obviously, you can leave this closed and set this up, and it'll you know, be like a normal pack, and you can reach down in it. But if you want to lay it down, you can. Nice padded laptop area here in the back, or whatever that you need to put in there. Two pouches here on the side. It's got straps here that you can put things in. Nice soft material right here. So if you've got a laptop on the outside or whatever, you know, it's nice and padded there as well. Very large Velcro area right here. I mean, it takes, takes quite a bit of power to pull through that Velcro. Um, so even got enough room if you want to put a patch or two on here, you still got plenty of Velcro, you got plenty of real estate here to have that flap closed tightly when you're with the hook and loop there. So very nice. Also. On the back here, it's got concealment pouch. You can reach from either side, from your back here. So there's a line there and there. Passes all the way through. Got some nice padding here on the back, so it kind of helped with a little bit of breathability, um, especially down here in Georgia, walking around with a backpack on. You're going to sweat a lot. So this kind of has a little bit of a barrier layer, layer there that helps with some breathability so you don't sweat as bad. You're going to sweat if you're down here. I don't care how, how nice and breathable it is. <laughs> but uh, very good zippers and very well thought out. And just, I needed a pack like this myself because like I said, everything I have just is real military looking and tactical looking, which is great, but Got Ready Man in gray, kind of screen printed right there on the front. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna put it on just so you can see. It's got a taper to it. A lot of backpacks nowadays I've been seeing's got uh, 
they're kind of wider at the top, taper down to the bottom. You got a lot of range of motion here, so if you if you're running and you need to get out of town, and, or um, you got you're in a fight, you can have a lot of good range of motion here. You don't have a backpack that you're hitting with your arm, so very comfortable pack. It's got little D-rings here up top, so shake it off. Got to shake it off. Ain't that what uh, what's her name? Uh, an old ton, bl tall blonde country singer chick. She says you got to shake it off or something like that. I can't think of her name. Anyway, you got a really cool gray man pack right here from Ready Man. So, rock on. Second item in advance is really cool. It is from Ontario Knife Company. It's called the Parapry. Now this is a really cool small breacher tool. We wanted our advanced subscribers to, to get a, a nice breacher tool here. Made in the USA from Ontario Knife, you know, the largest tactical tool and knife uh, supplier for the military. So it's 1074 steel, very strong, but not brittle. And uh, it's a breacher tool, but we call it the Parapry because it also sent in it a hank of paracord here. There's a lot of you out there that know how to do really cool paracord wraps and stuff like that. So if you are an advanced or above subscriber and you get you one of these, how about send us some pictures on Facebook and Instagram, tag us in it of how you put your paracord onto your parapry. So we got two holes here that can you know assist in putting the paracord on. It's also got this little landing here so that you know it's got something to, to grab up against so the paracord doesn't slide right off. But very effective self-defense tool. It's not really sharp, so I mean you you can you can hold it. Um, it's basically a pry bar that's small, compact, and easy to use, but not one of them super small ones that you really can't do a whole lot with. You can do a lot with this pry bar right here. So very cool and made in the USA, which I like a lot, a whole lot, actually. So next up is the Pro Box. The Pro Box has an Ontario Knife Co. QAB1, which stands for Quick Access Breacher with linen micarta. So Again, from Ontario Knife, get rid of this, get stuff right here. <clears throat> we have a quick access breacher right here. So, very similar to the Parapry, as you can see. It's larger, it has some, some uh, uh, slots here on the top, but still 1074. Um, you, got, you got Linen Micarta uh, handle here. As you can see, you got a front and rear finger chole. This one's smaller than this one, so they got a lot of thought in the design. It's very comfortable in the hand. Very, very comfortable in the hand. Very difficult for somebody to get this out of your hand because of the design of the, uh, the choles here as well as your lines here in the, uh, the handle on both sides, as you can see. And pretty aggressive pommel here on the back for, uh, for smashing things. So, very, very uh, comfortable, very comfortable breacher bar right here. Uh, as you, as I said earlier in in, in the uh, the Parapry, that there's no there's no edge to this at all, um, and, and that's for a reason. A lot of people use these specifically for breachers and for prying purposes, not for cutting. But if you wanted to put a little edge on this, you can. Uh, this this steel is very easy to put an edge on. Uh, you may have to you know, keep putting the edge on it over time as you use it because it's really not going to, to hold that edge for very long, but absolutely can do that if need be. But a very, very effective breacher here. So um, like I said earlier, it'd be really cool if you guys did some different type of uh, paracord designs with the Parapry. I know a lot of people are really into making their own Kydex sheaths and stuff like that. So this doesn't come with a sheath, but can be easily made. So if you're into doing that, about send us pictures of you making your sheaths and different kinds of sheaths for this, this uh, breacher tool right here. So, and last on the Pro Box is the Ready Man Membership Renewal, uh, the Premium Ready Man Membership. So hot, I can't think, but we're going into the Pro Plus. Everybody wants to know about the Pro Plus. Well, right here is the Pro Plus, Knife of the Month Club, right here in this box. So let's see what's in it. I hope it's not breakable. 
It's not. Because it's got bubble wrap around it. <laughs> no, it's not breakable at all. Matter of fact, this thing's pretty beast. If I can get the, all the stuff off of it here. This is Off Grid Tools Survival Axe. We, we, will you look at it? Will you just look at it? Made in the USA and all kind of cool gadgetry on this thing right here. This thing right here is a beast. Even has a daggone hacksaw blade. How about that? I don't even know where to begin. Hammerhead and claw, that's that right there. Gas shut off valve wrench, yep, right there, right there. Hardened steel breaker. I guess the whole thing could be the breaker. Oh, right here, maybe that's a glass breaker. Bottle opener, can opener, box cutter, yeehaw. Six inch Milwaukee blade, black oxide coated and handle carbon steel tang, hardened carbon steel tang. Wow, say that five times as fast as you can. Glass filled nylon ham handle with multiple textures for improving grip, balance, and comfort. 3 8 7 16 half and 9 16 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter, 13 millimeter, we're well, even getting the millimeters in there, folks. 15 millimeter wrenches. Hex socket, hex socket accepts any quarter inch bit. Lanyard pass through, nail puller, seat belt cutter, wire twist, and pry bar. <sighs> Holy moly. You can do everything with this. You can build a house with this. You can take one down with it. Oh man, I, I see the pry. This thing's cool. Like the more you look at it, the more things you find on here. I gotta hit something. It doesn't make sense to have this much fun. That is freaking awesome. Got yourself a saw there. It's got the American flag on it. What? That's freaking awesome. That's your knife of the month right there, people. Or your freaking knife of the what? I mean, you can do every, anything and everything with this. Matter of fact, They've got a video you got to see of them using this. <laughs> so we'll put a link to that in the description below as well. So that is your knife of the month right there. The Off-Grid Tools Survival Axe Elite. Very nice. So that's Mission 28, folks, of Battle Box right here. Urban Survival, probably the most anticipated theme for quite some time, and now it's here. So we got a really cool Gray Man pack here from Ready Man. The basic subscribers got a knife, two, uh, two uh, breacher bars, a really awesome uh, tool here from Off Grid Tools. Just a well-rounded box from small things such as Silcock keys that I think a lot of people didn't really even know existed, all the way up to this multi tool just everything you need right there in one thing stuck to an awesome handle with a hacksaw <laughs> who doesn't like that so be sure to check out battlebox.com if you want to find out more see if there's a subscription that fits your budget please feel free to check out our community at the battlebox forum if you go up to the uh, to the community tab on the website there's a forum there that you can be active with other battlebox subscribers and even if you're not a subscriber if you want to kind of dig around and see if it's something you want to do I'm sure you'll find some friends on there that can kind of help you along the way. So be sure to check out BattleBox.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next month for a really cool theme in Mission 29. Hey, guys, before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to BattleBox and subscribe to the Kern 1776 channel here on YouTube. Also, I want to let you guys know we just released our new podcast on iTunes. It's called Man Stuff. I'll put a link down below. Be sure to go to iTunes and subscribe and listen to the podcast.